Hello, little boys and girls. I hope all is doing well with you and your family. I know it is, and if it, if it doesn't right now, know that God will make it better. Okay? So today we're going to read um, a book called Little Al's Night. Are you ready? All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Little Al was having a wonderful night. He watched the funny possum family waddle along in a neat row. Hedgehog sniffed around. The, I see the skunk. Hedgehog sniffed around the mushroom patch. Skunk was eating berries because he could find no snails. By the river, beavers gnawed at trees. Turtle hid in her shell as fireflies danced all around. Little Al visited his friend, the raccoon. As they sat in the clover, fog, fog rolled in and hovered just overhead. Moss fluttered toward the moon. Silver dust fell from their wings. Little Al wanted to follow, but it was time no! to go home. On the way, Little Al flew by Grumbly Cave. Bear was inside, snoring up a storm. Wake up, Bear. Don't sleep all night. Owl saying, I want to show you the moon. But the bear kept snoring as usual. Little Owl flew home to his tree, gazing at the sky. He wondered if the bear had ever seen stars. Little Owl sat on his branch. How he loved the night forest. Frog croaked softly. Cricket chirped smartly. Little Owl heard rustling at the foot of his tree. Fox had come to say hello. It was late now. The bats were gliding home. Mama, little Al whispered, tell me again how night ends. The moon and the stars fade to ghost, Mama said. Spiderwebs turn to silver thread. Dewdrops sparkle on leaves and grass like tiny stars come down. Moonflowers close and morning glory open. The sky brightens from black to blue, blue to red. Red to gold. The rooster crows. The crows call, and the day begins, said Mama. But little Al did not hear. He was fast asleep. 